ain't around no voice debating. Sign the tongues, baby, case with Nathan. Get it off chest, cause time's a waste. And what's your views? Chop it up. Word on the streets, you're the future us. Learn from my mistakes and be better, but be comfortable with your opinion. They say millions won't change man. A lot of influence can't change plans. Person in the mirror, better shake his hand and be comfortable in the place you stand. Hit new heights, foreign land. Pocket full of thoughts, no contraband. Put it on the same front of the other than express you and your feelings. So many things is going on. Bullying 18 pregnancies. What's your thoughts? Let's hear you speak. What's going on in your community? What's going on in your community? Let you speak on what you see. Let's chop it up. Chop it up. It's your stage, it's your scene. Chop, chop, chop it up. Come on, let's chop it up. Chop, chop, chop it up. It's the end, chop it up. Chop, chop, chop it up. Come on, let's chop it up. It's the end, chop it up. Come on, let's chop it up. Chop, chop, chop it up. Come on, let's chop it up. Chop, chop, chop it up. It's the end, chop it up. Chop, chop, chop it up. Come on, let's chop it up. Over the years, so what about you? 
my best friend is sitting over there. It's so, um, yeah. Alright, so how about uh, anybody in the audience? Okay, well, my best friend is a girl, and you know, me and her dance together and everything, and it just turns out that she is a lesbian. So, I feel that with everything that goes on with each other's lives as an individual, I feel like you should be able to live your life and be happy with whoever you want to be happy with. That's just my take on it. Okay. My best friend is a girl. And I feel like we've been through a lot. Sometimes you get that better bond with each other when you go through a lot because your relationship is strong. But as we go through our um, relationship as best friends, it's still strong, but now that I have a relationship with a boy, he's become more of my best friend than my girl's best friend. One more time with each other. So it just depends on how much time and effort you put into that relationship, either if it's a boy or a girl. So, my next question is trust. Ooh, this is a big one. Yeah, yeah. I can't not trust. Trust. That's a big issue. All right, hold up. We're going to take a five-minute break right quick so we can get some more kids to uh, sit down. So we're going to come right back to that. No voice debating. Sign the tongues, baby. Can't speak Nathan. Get it off chest, cause time's a waste. What's your views? Chop it up. Trust. Okay. In relationships, trust is one of the biggest factors in a relationship. If you don't have trust in your relationship, then your relationship isn't really a relationship. It's just more like a fling or something like you're just there to be there. It's clean. Bottom line, you don't trust who you with, it's just gonna die. That's it. It's, 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 gonna, it's gonna lay out and die. And that's gonna be the end of your relationship, period. Because there's no way possible that you can be my boyfriend and I can't trust you to walk outside if it's females on the corner. I just, it just don't work. It's the capital T in relationships. If you don't trust who you with, it's a done deal. You don't need to be together. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I have trust issues because of my past relationships. I, I don't trust anybody. I really don't. The only person I probably trust is my parents and my best friend. That's about it. Well, in my case, my trust factor is all mixed up, you know? So if I'm in a relationship and if I can trust you, it's very, very, very shocking. Like, honestly, because like, I don't trust anybody. Even my own parents, I, I can't trust them either. So, you know, when I have, like, some of my friends, like people who are in the crowd right now, I trust them, you know. You know, to my right and my left, you know, I trust them. You know, the parents back there in the panel, I trust them, you know. But as far as relationships, if you cannot trust your significant other, like, you might as well just say, hey, buddy, it's over. It's over. All right, now, it's funny that you went and touched on parents because a relationship can be any type of relationship. You don't have to be a boyfriend girlfriend relationship. You can have a relationship with a friend, you know, parents, coworker. Well, some of y'all probably working, but how about relationships like that's inside the school? Oh well, when I was in school, I had a non-sexual relationship with uh, one of the teachers. She was just real cool. You know, she would like drop me off at the house or buy me McDonald's, you know. She was real cool, you know. The only thing about it that was kind of awkward was the fact that she was like 42 and I was like 13. So it was kind of weird. But, uh, you know, we had an awesome relationship. And then I moved uh, to Florida, so that relationship ended. Wank, wank, Anybody else? As far as relationships, 
relationships in schools go. We in high school, so let's let's get serious. The clicks and their relationship with whoever else. It's like you got these suburban thugs ah. that walk around with their click name and a flag color like they matter. Well, you're not in no game. You just want to sit here and act like you somebody. And they claim it's for respect. I don't respect you. I honestly don't care. I feel like what you're doing is off the rip. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm just saying. But um, as far as the administrators and teachers go, throughout my school life, I had two fights. And on each of those fights, they were not my fault. I can walk the hallways without a pass, see an administrator and be like, oh, I'm on this on this round. And they'll be like, oh, okay. Because when you're a truthful person and when they trust you, you don't really have no issues. I have to worry about somebody coming up to you disrespectful. I mean, you gotta give respect to get it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, when I brought people home, they didn't judge them, you know, 
You know, my grandmother and her significant other raised me to be a gentleman, raised me to have morals, respect, honor, decency, you know, things that a man should have. And, you know, after my grandmother passed and I moved in with my uh, biological mother, I brought one of uh, my uh, former significant others home and she straight judged her off rip. And I told my mom flat out, I don't care what you think, this is my life, not yours. Because frankly, I don't like her significant other, but I don't tell her about that. So I'm not quick to judge, and she shouldn't be. And that's how I feel. People sitting around, no voice debating. Sign the tongues, baby, case with Nathan. Get it off chest, because time's wasting. What's your views? Chop it up. Word on the street, share the future us. Learn from my mistakes and be better, but be comfortable with your opinion. They say millions won't change a man. A lot of influence can't change plans. Person in the mirror better shake his hand and be love. comfortable in the place Love is a part of a relationship, right? Dangerous word. Love. I want to I wanna know what you guys definition of love oh, is. I'm going to say this straight up. There is a difference between love and lust. Yes. <laughs> now, when you love someone, you will be there for them, no doubt, regardless. Lust is when, oh, um, I can't make it to your uh, little rehearsal tonight because uh, I have to work. No, no, there's a difference between love and lust. So that's the first thing you gotta figure out. If you're in a relationship, the beginning of it is usually lust. I'm not gonna lie. Cause in the last relationship, I'm not gonna lie, I fell in love with the girl deeply. I mean, deeply. And it had nothing to do with looks or anything. It was just straight up personality and it just didn't work. You know, but we were still cool and everything like that, you know? With love, that goes back to the trusting. So, I'm not gonna go back into the trust, but love, I've never loved anyone like in a relationship like with my significant other. I've never said, oh, I love you. I got love for them, but I'm not in love with them. So I've never met a person where I was in love with them. I've always had love for everybody, but never been in love. Love is sacrifice, okay? And that Fugazi jump that lush down the road. Alright, he said love is sacrifice. Yeah, what he means by that, yeah. I'll elaborate for you. What he means by that is he love means you would sacrifice for that person. Yeah. And uh, lust means you just roll over on them. Like if they are in a car accident and they need like a kidney and you have their blood type, you're like, oh, I want my kidney. You know, that's that's like messed up, but hey, it could be like that. But um, I think lust is based on looks, and love is based on trust and honesty, respect, personality, all of that to combine into one. See, with lust, it's just like, oh, she looks so good, or, oh, he's so fine. But then you don't really get to take the time to know that person. And the minute they do something you don't like, it's a rip. So that's why I think love and lust are like totally different from each other. Well, my take on it is I have felt that I have been in love. And I still feel that way. I feel like love is that that lasting personal connection, that feeling with that person, that even if, okay, we broke up, still roll down the line, I'm still talking to you, you still my best friend, you know, you still know me better than anybody else will ever know me. Lust is that, oh, babe, come to my show tonight. Nah, I can't, but you can come over to my house tomorrow. Well, why don't you come to my house and let's chill with my family? Nah, because I want it to just be us alone. What is love? You don't care. Who sees, who stares, who says what, who judges you. It's just you and that person. And when it's that personal, I can care less about what you think, what your friends think, what your family think. If it's me and you, then that's us. Us against the world. Hopping back off the subject. Yeah, man. Between love and lust, you'll do anything when you're in love. With lust, all you want is one thing, and we all know what that is. So, I'm gonna leave it with that. Boom, boom, as my friend. Um, a teenage. Let's jump in. Let's jump in.
Let's check it out. Let's check it out.